Welcome on the ADHD healing journey. I'm Julian Paul. Today, we're going to talk about productivity and why productivity is only about doing less. On this channel, we talk about ADHD, about mental health. We talk about nutrition, workout, meditation. But I like as well to invite people, minded people who has or not ADHD, who's been successful in their life, in their businesses, in their career. And we'll talk about business, about marketing, about strategies, sales, and human behaviors. So today, the topic will be about productivity and why productivity is only about doing less and no more. So on the phase one, it's going to be about discovery. Like usually on the phase two, we'll connect and see actually the what, what, how phase. And then I will explain you on the phase three, some sort of process to actually apply and be as much as you as uh, efficient as much as you can so here on the first one the presentation basically we're going to talk about productivity and how to be efficient enough the course objective is understanding the impact of productivity on a daily basis either is in your life in your business or in your career the intended audience is to successful ADHDers you a CEO, you are building business or you already built successful businesses and you want to add more value to your clients or to yourself. So your current state actually is a lack of efficiency and productivity, low making decision process. So you're not too fast, too quick and you lack some kind of impulsivity to actually make decision and take action. And so there is some sort of struggles around organization. The future state will be more free time, definitely a better time, achievement, less stress, more satisfaction. And of course, if it's in the business area and even in, in the career one, more in the business area, more money. If it's in the career, then you'll be able maybe to ask more money to your boss or to contract better pet contract, if I can say, uh, or be hired to a better pet contract. So let's go to the phase two, which is connect the what, why, how phase. What, what actually productivity? There is not much to talk about that. What productivity is only being super efficient, being more efficient that we just could be by achieving more, having some strategies in place and building some sort of routines as well, which is really important to have enough energy and of vitality to actually apply the structures and build them. Why? Why? Because we want more efficiency. We want more free times. We want to enjoy more the family, the friends. We want more money. We want less stress. And um, this is this is pretty much it. I mean, in my case, that's why I, I wanted to be efficient, to have more free times, enjoy my money, and just feeling more satisfied about the work I'm getting done. How? So we're going to go over one, two, three, five, four, five points today. Um, we're going to start by less is more. And what I'm saying less is more is that one of the first things really important to do when we start a task, for example, uh, with the desire of being productive, we have to cancel, eliminate any micro task like any small tasks in into the like the big one to just go straight away to the point i can give a sort of example when i'm going to create content before editing the content like before starting the video i'm going to take my book okay and i'm going to start to write the content so instead of writing everything that I'm going to say to the camera. I'm just going to write some bullet points. And from those bullet points, I'm going to start actually argumenting. That, like I'm doing right now. I just like I just start with less is more. And then I'm starting argumenting. That's the first thing. Then what we can do and what I usually do creating content is that after I've been editing for the first time the video, I'm going to get back to it and I'm going to try looking around if there is some words that there is too much and who 
do not have really a space for it. And so I'm going to take out those words. It's going to be the same when I'm writing emails, for example, or yeah, it, basically uh, that's, that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. Um, second bullet point, organize before. What I'm saying that is about planning the day ahead, making a to-do list, going to bed, not too late to wake up, early enough, working in the space where there is enough, enough, enough room, enough space. Okay. You're going to see on the, on the next picture, a, um, a, a, a picture actually of my office. There is pretty much nothing around. There is just my, my, like my keyboard, um, my computer, my bottle of water and, um, yeah, the mouse, the light. And that's that's pretty much it. So organization, it, it's pretty it's pretty important. And we're gonna go over the third bullet point to actually build organization because it can be pretty easy to say like, oh, you need to be organized, but how we can be organized. Uh, and there is no really, there is no hack actually. There is no like hack to be organized. Organized is a skill. And so it needs to be practiced to actually make it a skill. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so, and I will say like outside work to actually build productivity and build structures and being organized because organization is a kind of structure and we'll go over diet, working out, meditation, staying hydrated. Okay. So I always have water on my office, on my desk. And anytime I think about it, I drink. And I mean, it's pretty easy to think about it when I know that it's like, and you know, I, I, I mean, I've got my, it's not like my butter is down the office and I can't see it. It's really like, you know, I see it all the time. So I can't really forget about it. Yeah. If I, if I would say, um, so yeah, having a good diet just before I record this video is actually, uh, six, yeah, six, six twenty five here in Colombia. I at my lunch at like one. So it's been like five hours. I haven't eaten anything and I've been working pretty much the whole afternoon. So just before recording this video, uh, I was starting starving. I was starting to feel like hungry. But if I'm starting to eat like crazy, especially carbs or sugar, I'm not going to have energy. And if I don't have energy, then I'm not efficient as I would should as i should be so i went to the fridge and instead of eating chocolate um drinking coca-cola having a bowl of rice or of muesli uh add strawberries and raspberries fruits like red fruits who are really really low in carbs okay who's got a lot of water um and of nutrients and so it just you know it just passed me the desire of eating and i have enough energy to just record this video and then having my dinner later so it was it was a quick uh, example of how diet can actually improve our productivity. Workout, pretty easy. Workout just uh, gives energy. It takes out on the moment, but on the like on, on the long term, it definitely gives more power, more vitality, more will. So yeah, working out is just important. It clear the mind, so it gives more clarity. So it helps with organization as well. Meditation, I will go over this topic maybe later in the in the course, but just to say, I mean, I, I've been doing a whole course about meditation and about the benefits of meditation. It's just um, like mind-blowing, game-changer as fuck for a lot of aspects in, in my life. And I, I saw someone talking about deep um, breath work last time, and he was like, for me, breath work is just the solution to any of my problems. Like, and I'm really like that. I'm just like, for me, meditation is the same. Any problems I have in my life, I can resolve it by meditating. Staying hydrated, we talk about that, just having water all the time. Um, especially when we work from a computer, we are gonna do some deep work. Uh, we are gonna hyper-focus if we're not staying uh, hydrated. I don't know if you say that in English, hydrate, hydrated. Anyway, if we don't drink water, then we're gonna start having brain fog and pain head. And yeah, we, we, we're gonna, we just gonna, gonna freeze. And so we're gonna waste a lot of time, a lot of energy and a lot of money. 
Um, we get to the third bullet point. Do it. Four bullet point. Hyper focus, deep work. What I'm saying, do it is. Just, I mean, is it's pretty much do it. You know. Um, and we're gonna go over that later in a kind of like five step strategy of how to be productive. But it's really about having enough clarity to build a plan, a kind of to-do list, and just achieving, 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 achieving with breaks, of course, but achieving. And by doing that, by creating this kind of flow that we're going to deep into deep work and using hyper-focus as a like really skill to just do it more and more and more and more and more. So not really secret. That's why I said like productivity is about like um, doing less and no more. It's really about doing and we will usually see then high productivity people they not people with like a lot of hacks but they definitely people who just they just fucking work you know uh they're not like they, they, they're not gonna be people who is gonna tell you like oh i've been working like three hours today and i meant like 12 hours no they, they've been working fucking like 12 hours and maybe in 12 hours, they meant like two days in 12 hours. But like, you can be predictive if you work like three hours per day. But, but like, basically, it, it, for me, I mean, for me and people around I know uh, who are like predictive people, it doesn't like, it doesn't, doesn't go together. Like working three hours per day and being predictive, it doesn't really like, doesn't make sense. Um, and I'm not saying it because you work only three hours per day, you can't be productive. But when we go over this topic, productivity, um, we, we, we talk about like achieving. And when we say achieving, we, we just need to, to put in the fucking work. And like three hours, I mean, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, uh, just it, it takes me, yeah, some emotions to just talk about that because, uh, yeah, just like to work a lot. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it's about discipline too. Uh, example, chefs, military, CEOs, entrepreneurs. And again, that's what I was saying on the, on the point about do it. It's just like, you know, uh, people who are really predictive, we tend to be really disciplined. You know, we, we just like, we just work hard. We face challenges. We face pain. We face sacrifices. They're really part of productivity, actually. Pain, sacrifices, challenges, just like doing it, doing it, doing it, doing it, and keep going it. And you will see that by working like crazy, you're going to become more productive. But of course, then you can add those things about like starting to visualize what, no, so I'm just getting back uh, to the first points, visualizing the task you have to do, taking out everything that you can take out who doesn't have really an importance into the task accomplishment, if I can say, having the clarity to organize yourself before starting something, especially having a clear area of work and then planning ahead with outside work, which is meditation, staying hydrated, nutrition, workout, sleeping well, and blah, 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 blah. All the, all the good habits and routines that we can have building structures to actually apply and being productive. <clears throat> I think we're good for the phase two uh now what's happened to me here i'm gonna jump here like that we can see my face uh, i was a chef before doing uh adhd coaching i was a chef from my from the age of 15 until the age of 23 i'm 26 right now and uh being a chef has just been i, I understood right now by it's been like now two years that I'm like in the online business industry, but I really understand since a couple of months that I'm really working right now that being a chef has really helped me into the productive side and not just about being organized, but really we're gonna we're gonna go over that. Um so what's happened to me, why I started, how I started benefits, and blah blah blah. So why I started could say just because of the ADHD, I guess, uh, I was just, I mean, because of the hyper part of the ADHD, I was just a really fast guy. So being, being in the, in the chef industry, pretty young, it was, it was quite well for me. I was just in my, I, I was like, in French, we say like, like a fish in his, uh, vocal. I mean, I was, I was in my element. I was, I was pretty well, um, pretty easy for me i get good pretty pretty quickly my my the, the 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 owners the chefs i was working with was really happy about what i was doing the job i was giving because i was highly motivated high a lot of energy always ready to give and everything so 
I just, you know, I was like, okay, um, I may be not the more, uh, maybe not the, the, the most efficient chef uh, because I was super young. I was smoking a lot. I was not drinking enough water. I wasn't meditating. I was working out. I wasn't sleeping well uh, because of life, because of chef lives, actually. So I wasn't prepared to be as efficient as I could. But because of my ADHD, I was just, I was the first starting in the kitchen. I was the last going in the kitchen. I was working on my days off. I was just doing more than anyone else. So um, it, it was actually not like doing less, but because of, I was doing so much. And that's why I'm where I'm coming about, like what's productivity. Productivity is not really about having like, magical strategies is really about doing the fucking work um so yeah why well, i started just because i knew that uh because my chef my chef passed uh i had this big like big big um how how we can how we call that a big background i had this big background ready about being efficient organized productive how I started again, exp I, I, I really like, I, exp I definitely explain you in the, in the why I have, um, uh, a, 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 like a, a short, like long story short, three years ago, when I started about learning about online businesses, I was reading a book of Tim Ferriss, not this one. Okay. Uh, well, but another one who's called the four hours book. Or the four hours week, I guess. Yeah, the, uh, the four hours week. Uh, and when I was reading that, you know, I was like, I, I didn't know nothing at all about online businesses at, uh, yet. I was I was still a private chef, but I was off. I was thinking about changing my career and going into something more online and everything, but I wasn't sure about it. So I was just like, okay, I'm off, I'm traveling. Let's see what life has to give to me. And I was reading this book about Tim Ferriss and I was like, this guy was talking about being predictive and a lot of tricks and a lot of things about like gaining time and running after time. And I was like, fuck dude, you know, like I'm a chef. It's been like, it's been years and I'm running after time and I'm trying to be organized, productive, efficient and everything. And you hear telling me those things and it, it didn't make sense to me at all because I was already, for me, I was, for me, I was already a crack of crack. If we say that in English, we say that in French again, I don't know. I was, for me, I was already a master of productivity. Um, but I understood again that there was um, some things that I missed actually on the journey, especially on really on, on this part, um, the diet, workout, meditation, stay hydrated. So I was, I always been like really pretty chef for chef, but on the, on the general part, because I was just, I had like a really poor, poor diet and habits and routine. I was just really down. So now I guess if I come back in the kitchen, I will be probably way better than what I was before. Um, wasn't aware as well about hyper, about deep work. Wasn't really aware about my ADHD actually. I just knew it was it was a power, but I didn't really know how to use it as a power. Um, benefit. Uh, here are the benefit actually of being uh being a chef for me, and. I, I actually and so I give you I give you the, the this link of Tim Ferriss book because Tim Ferriss has write a book as well which is the four hours chef book I guess uh, we're gonna go over it okay uh, yeah the four hours chef and here is gonna go over his experience of being a chef actually I don't remember for how long he's been in the kitchen uh, but here he's gonna give you actually six reasons to read this book even if you hate cooking as I did um, and it's it's gonna be really about why being a chef can actually help you in a lot of areas in your life um, especially how to learn something and become a world class in any skills in record time or how eating will uh, become a high definition like how paying attention to the diet will actually increase your results um you'll get into the best shape of your life because you're gonna obviously learn um uh, lose some uh, lose some fat lose some kilo and gain some power um it goes over it doesn't take much to become impressive cooking is the mating advantage so uh that's 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 pretty that's pretty true i mean and not only for having sex with women it's just 
building relationships. You know, everybody loves eating. Everybody loves cooking. It's really a creative art job. So it's 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 a topic which is pretty easy to bring on the table. I've always been really uh, easy talker, talking about what I was doing, really proud about it and everything. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, don't need to spend seven years or eight years, like eight years of career to actually learn things from being a chef to apply it in your business, in your career, in your personal life. Um, here, okay. I'm going to, then we're going to go over that. Yeah, so stay organized and clean chef example. Watch my internet windows. So we here, I haven't like made any change. Uh, but as you can see here, what you see here, is like my Google Doc, my my draft where I, I build this course, okay? Um, some music that I was listening when I was building this course and I can share it right now. Um, the PDF, okay? Uh, the link that I, I use for this course, okay? That I can close as well. And when I click it, I don't know if you remember, but I close it instantly when I've done with it. So this is a habit I've made by being a chef is always cleaning after me once I've done something. And again, you can see this picture, okay? Um, again, like it, it wasn't like me was like, oh, we're gonna clean the background before making the picture. I mean, I was I was um, uh, washing, cleaning this octopus in the sink, basically. So I just, the, the guy just came up, just showed up and he was like, oh, can I take a picture? And I was like, sure. And as you can see, I mean, I can't really zoom on the picture, but um, I'm pretty clean. Uh, the details I'm using here, it's pretty clean. My hands are clean. Here, my board is like just super clean. The bin behind, there is nothing in it because I've always uh, tried out to the biggest bin. So I have a, a smallest bin. So, I mean, you know, um, so yeah, uh, <laughs> being a chef helps a lot to uh, staying organized, being clean and everything. So. I recommend you for real to if you like of organization, if you like being clean in your mind, in your office, in your life, go for the for for like the kind of high kitchen uh standing uh close to your house. There is plenty, I'm sure. It, like even if you live in the desert today, there is there is good restaurant and ask to just be trained for months, okay? Uh, you go like two, three hours per day. We all have like two or three hours per day to learn new skills and to become a better person. Um, they will pay you and they will super happy to have someone that would, they, would, they won't be they, they won't be paid, okay? Uh, they always need more staff in the kitchen. Uh, so, I mean, it will, be, it will be a great, great experience to actually really uh, building resistance and the pain, creativity to solve problems, good under pressure, efficiency and fast, uh, and staying organized and clean, for example. Um, so yeah, again, I can give you an, another example for like, okay, here, my like, just my desk, my computer desk, you know, there's nothing. There is those two things. That's the only two things that there is uh, who doesn't have like real space, you know, here uh, on my, here, there's nothing, just what I'm using. WhatsApp, then I can close, Zoom that I'm using, Google Chrome, that's it. That's fucking it. Um, what else can I show you? I don't know, you know, like I'm just have like five documents here that I'm using. Those are like, you know, really like document I'm not really using, but here because they always been here. Uh, my Google Chrome, uh, all this app, I use them every day. I use mail every day. I use YouTube pretty much every day. I use Google Doc every day. I use Facebook for business every day. I use Tipple uh, for traduction every day. I use Calendly every day. I don't use this every day, but it's like a page builder website. I use my calendar every day. I use my bank account every day. Um, I use Drive pretty much daily. I use Zoom every day. I use PayPal. Um, I use Google Doc again, Instagram the same, and Square is a payment mechan. So, I mean, there is nothing here that uh, does not have a space, you know? I could even make, like, folders to, like, make, like, social network with social network, mail with mail, uh, maybe, like, bank with bank, but, like, yeah. Uh, can show you as well this in my phone. Uh, this is the only... So, now if you see, but I don't have... We don't, um, maybe I can, I can do it like that. So do it like that way.
We don't see much, isn't it? But like what I'm gonna what I'm, what I want to show is that I've got actually on my phone folders for anything. Yeah, you can see here. So apps, Google, banks, business. Uh, and there is no another page. Like the other page is just the research page, uh, basically. Um, so again, everything on the like everything at the as a space for it. Um, nothing less is more. Nothing is here for nothing. Uh, so yeah. Uh, so the benefits: staying organized and clean. Chef example: watch my internet windows. Uh, efficient and fast. Yeah, that's the hyper part as well. But you can see I'm talking really fast. I'm moving really fast. So I mean, yeah, when I'm when I'm typing, for example, I can I can type pretty like pretty pretty fast. So hyper plus being a chef, um, just make me being more predictive. Good under pressure. That's 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 really true. Why we're doing services then. You know, you have to be fast. There is the chef who is like talking, like insulting you, talking bad. There is fire as well. So you have to take care and people are waiting for you to eat. It has to go hot and and, and ready and good and blah, blah, blah. So um, yeah, k k kitchen side is really a stress environment, a high stress environment where we learn about being good under pressure. Creativity to solve problems again, especially in this area. I mean, I'm saying this area is like the private chef area when you're working with really wealthy people, you're gonna have the um, madame who is gonna come at like 12, they eat at one and they like 15 and she told you, oh, Julian, so you made fish today, right? And you're like, no, we said chicken yesterday. And she's like, like no, we said fish. And so you have one hour to like solve the problems. And like, I mean, she's paying you $500 a day. So you don't have to say anything. You just fix the problems. So yeah, actually that helped a lot again about solving problems, having the credit, like create IDVD for it. Uh, resistance under pain, it's hot, it's long. You work 15 hours a day, six to seven days a week for long months. The chef is there on your back. You have to work in like some really hot area. So, I mean, um, I haven't done a lot of hands made job, if we say, but I guess construction physically, it's maybe uh, harder because because there is a lot of weight to to, to 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 like to handle you work outside so it's cold and everything but uh for general pain especially the mental and the emotional one i don't know a job which is harder of being a chef i mean if you know just drop in comment and say like this is maybe harder maybe working in a hospital i guess it, it, it can be it can be pretty much the same or being a military but uh yeah uh, so here you've got, yeah, you've got the link. I'm going to actually link that into the description of the video, like that you can have access to the PDF. And uh, yeah, there was just uh, this this little phrase of uh, Bruce Lee who said, uh, adapt what is useful, reject what is useless, and add what is specifically boom, 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 your own. And this is, again, uh, typically about being a chef, you know, adapt. Uh, adapt what is useful is really just use what you need to use to make it better um if you don't need it just take it out you know like you don't you don't need that okay we don't need fucking five liters of water to make a good sauce we need to reduce it until it just like end with a little bit to actually make it pretty good and add maybe just some lemon just a little, a little bit you don't like give a lemon test but just add the the the, the 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 test of it just because lime and lemon uh, like salt sugar or chocolate just increase the taste of everything don't know if that was <laughs> uh it, it was a good example but uh, I tried to give it a, as I, as I could um but yeah it is again it's all about less is more now we can go over the phase three application I made uh, a picture of my desk. Uh, which is like right now, I, I just took it like just before recording this video to show you then there is actually nothing, just my light, my bottle of water, I'm gonna drink again, my computer, my keyboard, my mouse. Uh, here, what you see here on the, on the right is my bean, okay? Who is like pretty empty. Yeah, pretty empty. Um, one pen. 
I've got two sometimes, and behind some Palo Santo that I'm burning just before studying something. Just give me some peace, give me some space. I like the smell. Uh, I used to be a big smoker before, so like to help me stop smoking, I even like keep it on my hand like that, like a cigarette. I was even like smoking sometimes, but yeah, doesn't matter. Uh, but it's a kind of like anchor that I'm using for my mind that can be helpful uh, doing uh, deep work, meditating and stuff like that. I like to use it. Uh, phase three, application. So now it's going to be all about you. I try to make a five-step strategy to be productive and actually start being productive into some task. Um, there is not much to do. Again, it's all about doing a lot instead of trying to figure it out with a lot of strategies. The biggest, the, the best strategies actually just do it. Um, so, but if we have to define a five-step strategy about how to be productive, I will say define what to do with a list. Okay, that's really, really fucking important. I've never been uh, as efficient than with a list. So I don't do that every day, okay? Uh, especially when I do every, like every time, every day, the same thing. But for days like today, for example, like Sunday, where I know that I have nothing to do, like no, no I don't really have non-negotiable tasks for the business side, I'm saying. I don't have coachings. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I don't have, I, I don't coach people on the Sunday usually. If they need, I do, but I usually don't do that. So from this this side, from the side of like, I don't have to coach anyone. I'm like, okay, I'm cool. I can I can sleep late. I can watch TV. I can eat sugar. But if I do that, dude, like I'm 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 fucked basically. Um, so I'm gonna tell you. So what I did yesterday. Uh, what I did yesterday is that I write a list. Write a list. Uh, and let's see what I've been doing on my list because I actually, uh, yeah, I haven't like did that. I don't know how we say that. Like, yeah. So wake up by six a. Wake up by six a.m. I woke up like at six five. Uh, meditate. Uh, yeah, meditate. I meditate for one hour. I didn't write it, but I, in my mind I was like, okay, tomorrow I meditate for one hour. I usually meditate between like thirty minutes and forty five minutes. Uh, it's more like 45 minutes and so on the weekend, one hour, but I would like to get back to one hour daily. So I meditate one hour this morning. Um, add people on social. So I'm adding people to talk to them and to message them and just making me know about uh, myself because I've got a small account on Instagram. Nobody knows me. So I have to do that. Otherwise, you know, it's not like a couple of hundred views and reels who's going to make me uh, famous <laughs> so add people on social uh, talking to people on social making a story on social on instagram creating my reel on instagram so all of that has been doing, uh, has been done um content creation three valuable posts so because if you go on my instagram i have some posts where i'm like funny doing things and there is post where i'm teaching pretty much like I'm doing right now, uh, which takes more time to create those kind of content than doing like a content of five seconds where I'm just, you know, uh, yeah, doing the clue. Uh, so I did that um, five to 10 reels, like funny reels. I haven't done that at all. And uh, record a YouTube video that I'm doing right now. It takes about like, it takes an hour to record, an hour to prepare. Um, and then like five minutes to be online. Uh, and then I did a, an hour coaching with my mentor this morning. So I haven't coached anyone, but I've talked to my mentor because of a, a, a client offer that I want to talk to him about to make it better. Uh, so Rick, if one day you watch this video today, I've talked to my mentor and we've been building your, uh, your offer. Man, I'm 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 fucking happy. I'm gonna do it right now with you guys. Um, I, I've done I've done everything pretty much. Uh, and the only reason why I haven't done the five to ten funny reels, is because they slept. You know, like I, I I had a nap with my girlfriend for about like an hour. Um, and when I woke up, I procrastinate for about like you know 20, 25 minutes. I was just scrolling on Instagram, and so I lose like an hour and a half, ninety minutes, which was actually the time that I should need to make at least five funny reels. So I mean, from wake up at six a.m., it's right now seven p.m. So I worked pretty much thirteen hours today. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty I'm pretty happy about uh, about what I've done so far. So. 
Um, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Now, we can keep going. Uh, define what to do with a list. Okay. Really important. Without a list, without the list I've made today, I won't be at all able to do uh, what I've been doing. And it's not just about like having the organization. It's about the commitment. When you write something, you commit to yourself that you're going to do that. And it's going to just help you to, yeah, just being committed. So yeah. Uh, find a quiet space where you're sure to have a good work ability. What I'm saying that is like, you know, don't don't go to work uh, uh, at the swimming pool. Like people are showing on social, for example, there is like too much light, there is people around, there is kids, it's dangerous for the computer, you can't charge it. It's just like, you know, it's fucked up. Uh, working is in the office, you know? It's not even like, I'm, I'm never working in my band, you know, like never. Like I never did that before. Uh, what I can do is maybe working in the sofa when I'm like messaging people on social, uh, that I can do it, but like other ways, like when I'm coaching people, when I'm recording here, I'm in the office, I'm always, yeah. So uh, find a quiet space. Um, can give an example. My partner, she never she never comes in my room when I'm working. Like never, never, it, it, it never, it never happened. Uh, so yeah, take breaks. Really fucking important. Um, today I've took, so I woke up at six. I meditate between six, 15 and 715 okay um at 715 uh it took like five minutes break then i start doing my stories and messaging people and adding people on social okay that took like 45 minutes more or less at eight i took another break about like 20 30 minutes and i talked to my mom for half an hour uh, then it was 9 a.m. I had my breakfast, okay? So I always eat uh, three to four to five hours after I wake up to fast uh, a little bit in the morning and fast for at least like 12 to 15 hours from the, the time before. I'm eating at seven. Now it's like seven, yeah, 6.55. I'm, I'm going to eat in like 15 minutes. I, I, I've done that and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go eat to like be in the bed at nine and falling asleep at 9.30. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, taking, so I took a break, like I eat at 9.30, uh, I, I eat at 9, uh, till 9.30, 9.30, I was like taking showers and everything until 10, and like to 10 to 12, I've been uh, messaging people and have my, my mental coaching, okay? Um, at 12, I stopped, I took a break for about an hour, I had my lunch, I, you know, just uh, what I did, like, yeah, chill some some time with, with the with the girlfriend, we have a rest, and then by like three three thirty, um, I start working again, making the reels, and like until five, and at five, I took another break, okay, like five ten minutes, just having a snacks, having like the strawberries and the blueberries, and then I start recording this video, preparing the video and recording the video. So um, in all of this day, I've been I, I've took about like five to six breaks. That's that that that's a lot, but that's what we need to be efficient as we need to eat enough, but not too much. Drink enough. Uh, I'm not gonna say, but not too much. But yeah, and rest enough. You know, I've slept one hour, and I'm 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 totally good with that. Um, maybe like and and I even procrastinate for 25 minutes. So I've slept one hour and I procrastinate 25 minutes. So, um, keep going. Important phase. That's I think. Well, uh, <laughs> so bonus, but yeah, I think this is the most important thing and maybe the biggest act ever. Um, what I can give as an example to, oh uh, yeah, I didn't want to record this video. Like really, I, I love doing that. And I think it's one of the part I, I love the most in, in the business. Uh, really like recording this kind of video is just like, I, like I love teaching. And um, tonight I was just, you know, after I woke up, it was like, yeah, it was like 3.30 something. Uh, I was like, dude, I don't want, I have to fucking record reels and then I have to record the video and it's like Sunday and I've been working enough today and blah, blah, blah. So I was starting to give me excuses. Uh, and so this is where discipline is really important. This is where meditation, workout, waking up early in the morning, uh, they like here to just, you know, I, I've been doing so many times since like three years, three years, things that I don't want to do. 
Um, meditation, for example, from this morning, from this morning at 6 a.m., I'm like meditating for an hour. Like I'm doing um, silent meditation. Like I'm, I'm sitting in silence and, and I don't move. I don't move. I don't open my eyes. I just, I don't do anything. Like if my nose is scratching or another part of my, of my face or my body, I don't move. I let the scratch goes away. So I mean, <laughs> this is pretty fuck. It's pretty crazy, but that's, that, that's the truth. So like, keep going. It's like, when you feel like, uh, like you, you upset or you exhausted or you tired or you stressed or you have fear or you have any single fucking emotions who are coming to disturb you. I'm not like being emotionless. And again, meditation teach a lot about that. It's about like accepting the emotion, knowing that like what is happening right now is not what you want. Accepting it, maybe procrastinate for like 20 minutes and then just go boom, boom, boom. Um, I've been talking about procrastination. I mean, I haven't been talking really about procrastination. Maybe I could do like a full topic about it, but I've been talking about journaling and how journaling can actually help with procrastination. So there is a, a video on my on the on the YouTube channel which is uh, 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 journaling, and I've talked about uh, how journaling can help with procrastination. But yeah, keep going is really like, you know, uh, and we feel like at the end, we feel when, when we start doing it and workout is a pretty good uh, exercise for that. I, I never like done a session of workout and be like, oh, I didn't want to work out. You know, I always like, I, I usually like, oh no, I don't want to work out. But then it never fucking happened to me. Be like, oh, oh, it was, it was not a good session. You know, oh, why I did that? Never, like fucking never. Um, so yeah. Yeah. And here I understand, you know, like uh, I, I never felt like, oh, I don't like I, I usually feel, feel, feel like I don't want to do it. But when I do it, I, I never felt like, oh, why I did it? Never, like never always feel satisfaction like I'm feeling right now. I'm, I'm sure you, you you feel you feel the energy. So, yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going until the step number five. You've done, buddy. You've, you, you've done, you know, it's like 7 p.m. I've done. I've done, man. Like in five minutes, I can go, can go to eat. I can go to rest with my girlfriend. I can uh, close all the screens, uh, close the TV, close the phone, close the computer, and be like, oh, I'm good. I'm good. And tomorrow, I'm gonna be rested enough because I'm gonna go to bed at nine, and I can wake up at five a.m. tomorrow and start my Monday just like crazy. So, yeah, it was a good phase three application. Uh, would you be strong enough to do the same? I give you some tools. I give you some strategies. You have this video to help you to actually start uh, and build some good momentums. Try to do that for the next 30 days. Give a proof shot. So or yourself, maybe like make, making some videos or I don't know. You just choose the way of doing the proof shot. I don't. I, I actually don't care the way you just editing it. Um, but if you give me enough proof shot, I give you a fully free access to my coaching, which is one, one coaching. Okay. We in 2022, but by mid of 2023, one, one coaching will not be available at all. So, I mean, if you still lucky enough to watch this video in time, just yeah, you know that uh, by by giving me this proof shot, you can have a full access to the coaching with me for a couple of times. I don't know yet for how long, but then I'm going to just introduce you to the community, to the other guys, and we're going to work together and smash things. Okay, cool. Um, bonuses, procrastination, Sunday boost, doing ons, not twice. Um, so procrastination. Procrastination is a good topic, especially for ADHDers. I tend to start understanding a little bit more where it comes from procrastination. Uh, I feel like I do not procrastinate when I really like something, like really. Um, so this is this is a really first really important thing. If you feel like you procrastinate a lot, then maybe instead of trying to uh, find solution to do not procrastinate, maybe start finding solutions to do not do what makes you procrastinate, obviously. Uh, I mean, that's, 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 that, that's probably, you know, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I, I will give an example with meditation. I never want to meditate every day, but because I know how impactful it is, I don't know if that's English, impactful, but like how the impact is positive. I'm like, dude, I will never procrastinate on meditation, you know? Um, 
So that's that's the first thing. That's really the first thing. If you tend to procrastinate a lot on what you do, maybe it's time to actually change what you're doing and find something where you have a lot of interest in it and where procrastination is going to decrease a lot. So that's the first thing. Second thing, uh, procrastination for me is a kind of emotion or I mean is an emotion who leads to procrastinate. Uh, we are tired, we are exhausted, we are stressed, we are under fear, we are anxious, we are blah, blah, blah. And because of that, we're going to be like, oh, no, I don't want to do it and everything. So again, it's really important to recognize the emotion, understand the emotion, face it, accept it, sit with it, and then going over it. Yeah, because there is there is no... There is no magical thing. Again, like I'm, I'm sorry if you was waiting for that, but there is no magic behind how to smash procrastination. How to smash procrastination is taking ownership of it and be like, okay, I feel it. I know that I don't want to do it, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, you know? And the thing is like about um, uh, ADHD paralysis and all the all, all, all of those things um, is that the more we're going to answer to our emotions, the more we're going to be like, oh, I'm not going to do it because I don't feel like, the more we're going to get tempted and the more we're going to get used to do not do it. And that's the reason why I, 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 I've been so good at achieving things because I build this discipline. I build this consistency. I've been so inconsistent in everything in my life. When I was a chef, I could never wake up early. I, I was a pastry chef for three years. Is. I had to wake up at 4 a.m. in the morning. I was living at like two minutes, like for real. I was like living at 100 meters of the bakery, of the pastry I was working. I was every day uh, getting there late, like every day. And like now I wake up even without alarm. So um, it's it's really about building consistency slowly, step by step. We have time, but like it's being having the ability to do things over, over, and over. And uh, it's going to be the, the, the content of my next reels this week about like discipline and everything. We have to understand that um, to make things, I mean, I'm, I don't know how I'm saying that, but I like, I understood that I have to face consistency and the feeling of the feeling of being bored doing the same things over and over. But that's the only way to actually build structures, routines, and good habits by facing consistency and uh, the feeling of getting bored of doing things over and over. Uh, so, yep. And the third point about procrastination is that if you find something where you actually procrastinate way less than before, if you've been building yourself enough consistency and of discipline to any times that you're feeling an emotion will lead you to procrastinate, uh, so you actually reduce your procrastination by like 10x, then when you have some times where procrastination is there, enjoy it, buddy. Enjoy it because you became a fucking productivity master and you deserve this procrastination. I fucking deserve to uh, scroll Instagram for 25 minutes uh, this this afternoon when I woke up with my girlfriend from the, from, from the nap, you know? Uh, and I can even add something on the top. Uh, my like Instagram research because I'm following like no one. It's not because like, oh, I don't want, no, it's just like, I don't, I don't want to follow people on social because I don't want to be distracted. So the only thing I have on my research bar is about uh, coaching, marketing and boxing. Like, like we're going to go over it like right now. And we're going to see, I'm going to give like a, like a, a percentage of that. Okay. So I show you again. How many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 pictures. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There is 9 about boxing, 1 about sport, and 2 gags. 80% about boxing. I'm a professional boxer. So, uh, I mean, even when I'm procrastinating and scrolling on Instagram, I'm scrolling on things that doesn't really pull you. Yeah, like destroy my brain or my things, you know, like I I'm not going to be like, um, if I'm starting scrolling, I'm not going to like 10 minutes later, I'm not going to be like in the 
fucking you know i'm not going to start uh watching um um uh, uh, um uh, lion in the deserts you know uh because i'm just watching always the same thing so instant like my feed is always showing me the same thing so again uh third point of procrastination if you became a master of procrastination dude relax you can procrastinate buddy like you need it you, you, you your brain is just sending you this information telling you like dude you should rest <laughs> so yeah um we go we good with this point sunday boost sunday boost sunday boost sunday boost i mean not gonna go too like too long on that um i like to use it sunday especially I like to use Saturday. I'm still working on Saturday, but I'm just like, okay, I wake up when I want. I do what I want. If I don't want to meditate, I don't meditate. If I don't want to work out, I don't work out. If I don't want to answer my clients, I don't answer my clients. Uh, and I really do what I want. You know, if I want to eat sugar, I eat sugar. Uh, and uh, I I keep the Sunday because I'm working on Monday and I'm starting my week on Monday. So I'm like, okay, on Sunday, I'm going to start working. Not like crazy, but um, I'm just going to like work enough to feel satisfied to go to bed early and feel Monday, you know, just be like, okay, I've been, I, I, I prepared, you know, like I'm fighting on Monday, I've trained on Sunday basically. Uh, so I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to, to, to go on the ring and just knock out the opponent. So uh, yeah, Sunday boost is just kind of a technique to just being productive enough on the week by preparing the week, uh, starting doing some things on, on, on the Sunday, uh, especially this YouTube video, you know, like I spent two hours right now doing that. I can't like, obviously from Monday to Friday, I can't spend, I spend more, like I spend like maybe two hours and a half, maybe three hours doing it and doing this, this video. And I can't do that on the weekday. Like that's not possible. I've got clients, you know, I've got clients, I'm training, I, I have my partner. Uh, I have, I mean, I, I can't, I just can't. Um, so again, I create content as well. You know, like I've created like three, uh, I, I, I've created three valuable posts and I'm posting on the weekdays. I've tried to, to post like two times per day. Uh, so I've got already half of my posts half of my post, uh, half of my valuable posts uh, ready. So that's a lot of times that I am taking out. So um, yeah, I've meditate one hour. So I know that tomorrow it's going to be easier for me to meditate one hour because I've meditated one hour today. So if I haven't meditated one hour today, if I was like, oh, it's Sunday, I'm just going to meditate 15 minutes. Then tomorrow, how is it going to be? It's going to be fucking hard. So yeah, Sunday boost. Gotta have some water. Do it once, not twice. This is the only like trick and strategy about productivity. Um, you have to create reels, for example. You know, then you have to create six reels in the week. Create them on the like um, organize yourself and be like, okay, I know that six reels takes me uh, x amount of time, so I'm gonna use this time to build the six reels instead of doing one reel on Monday, one reel on Tuesday, one reel on Wednesday, one reel on Thursday, and blah 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 blah. blah. Um, same thing, and th that's how we we do when uh, we are chefs, you know, like you have uh, onions, carrots, tomatoes, and celery to to cut. Uh, and you got 10 of them to cut. You're not gonna like cut one tomatoes and one syriac and one carrots and one onions. No, you're gonna cut like 10 tomatoes, 10 carrots, 10 onions, and yeah. Um, so yeah. Uh, or again, I don't know, like you have to make like a chicken stock, okay? And you know, then you pass like 50 liter of chicken stock per week. You're not gonna do like 10 liter on Monday, 10 liter on Tuesday, 10 liter on Wednesday, no. On Monday, you're gonna do 50 liter. You know, or once a month, you're going to do like 200 liters and then you're going to freeze them. Yeah. So, yeah, do it once, not twice. Buddy, uh, it was it was great to talk to you. Uh, I, I want to eat right now, 7.12. Uh, it's been more than one hour that I'm recording this video. Uh, but I have a last bonus for you. Oh, it didn't work. Fuck. Three tips plus plus plus. So in another bonus because I just want to add a bit more value to this uh, course, um, and it's more about actually uh, uh, how I call that uh, outside work. Uh, how to be productive outside of productivity. Uh, procrastination. No, that's <laughs> been here. How to be like more productive procrastination. Oh, uh, wake up super early. When I'm saying super early, it's not like you wake up at 6 a.m. Like 6 a.m. it's normal. 
Like you wake up super early, it's like you wake up at 3 a.m. Or like you wake up at 4 a.m., you know? And it's not just about like, like you can tell me like, oh, but like I'm, I'm starting working at 8 a.m. Like I'm working for a company. Uh, I can't be in the office at 3 a.m. There is things that you can do between 3 and 8, which is like training, for example, working out. Uh, that can be like prepping your meals, like your lunchbox, instead of spending money into eating out with people, uh, like pizza, sandwiches and everything, you're going to make like good vegetables with good protein and low carbs like that. You have like, uh, yeah, you just have like a, 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 a light lunch, okay? Light lunch or, or light dinner is the same, but you have to have like one EV, one light, but you choose. Uh, but you can use this time to actually prep your whole meal for the week between 3 a.m. and 6 a.m., for example. And then you know that you spend less money, so you can invest this money or use this money for something else. Or you can work out or you can start meditating or you can answer emails or you can do what the fuck you want to do. But between 3 a.m. and 6 a.m., the only thing that you can do at this time is actually doing the work for you, which is the best thing that you can do for you to grow. Um, I'm not doing that too much at the moment because I have a lot of work. So I wake up every day at 5 a.m. Uh, so for me, 5 a.m. it's like 7 a.m. But I wake up every day at 5 a.m. But when I used to have like more time for me, uh, I, I tend to wake up sometimes between like 2 a.m. and 3 a.m. in the morning, starting meditating for an hour, an hour and a half, and starting reading, for example, between like 5 a.m. and 6 a.m. or 4 to yeah, 4 to 5. And, and like I was like 5 a.m., I was ready to smash everything, going to work out at like 6 a.m. And I, I was, you know, like at 8 a.m. starting my day, I was like, bro, I just want to eat everything, you know? And at 12, I was like, I'm good. I can go to the beach uh so yeah um wake up super early pretty good meditation I, i've been doing a full course for that an hour when i'm talking a lot about meditation and benefits meditation gives clarity meditation gives energy meditation gives vitality meditation gives every single thing that you miss in your life so if you think today that you have a lack somewhere uh, don't even finish this video, go on my YouTube channel and watch about meditation and start meditating right now, because this is what you need right now. It's meditating. Meditating is a fucking, fucking, fucking game changer for everything, especially productivity. Last thing, to the list. I mean, we, we've been talking about that. I give the like really good example with my to the list of uh, Sunday. Uh, I'm not going to go over that anymore. It's 7.15. That's good. It's not 7.16. I'm going to stop right now. I'm drained. I think uh, I've been doing a great job today. I wish you to enjoy uh, the rest of your day, of your night, of your months, of your whatever you want. And uh, yeah, just give me some comments. Uh, text to me on Instagram. Text to me on Messenger. Text to me whatever you want. And uh, we, we 